I've been thinking about Leo Marx and that 1954 book, The Machine in the Garden, in which industrialization forces its way into a pastoral landscape, our landscape, the landscape of North America. We see it when Thoreau hears the train in a pastoral landscape. We see it over and over again in Hawthorne, in Henry Adams, in Henry James, in Twain. And Leo Marx never quite reconciles those things. He presents them as a kind of problem. Our pastoral or undeveloped past and the shoving in of the machine age and industrialization. This also might make you think a little bit of the idea of the divided self that needs to be reconciled, that we often encounter as the left brain reason, which is perhaps alienated from the right brain and imagination. The poem by Lisa McCabe is an ophrastic poem or a poem about another work of art, in this case, a painting by Alec Colville. I was interested to see that it was painted in the very same year that The Machine in the Garden was published. The poem is a very rhythmic, train appropriate, tetrameter line, four stress line, um, the second and third lines of each stanza rhyme. And it is in the Ekphrastic Journal. As always, we have permission to read. And here it is, Horse and Train. You'll notice if you listen carefully, that there's one line that's not a forced rest line. That's a very short line meant to catch you up. Horse and train. Horse of iron, horse of flesh, each suspended in their track. There's no forward, there's no back, and the space that lies between will never widen or decrease, nor will their motion ever cease, nor force disrupt their equipoise, each committed to their course. There is no train, there is no horse. The grasslands grow and do not grow. There is no cloud, there is no smoke, just paint and light, the brushes stroke. Though always in your mind you see the two collide, the dark horse rear. There is no swerve, there is no fear, except your own. You are the beast, you are the break, you are the dream from which you wake.